Hey everyone, Hassan here. How's it going? Uh, it is a very special time right now because this right here uh, came in today in the mail, the Legacy Dragon Dagger. So this is a part of the big Legacy collection that they are doing for the Power Rangers anniversary. And I am very, very excited for this. I've seen pictures and videos of it. It looks absolutely amazing. And I am very excited. Most people probably already have it by now, but it finally just showed up on the East Coast. But I pre-ordered anyways. I finally just got my pre-order. And I kind of wanted to do, because this is very special, sort of an unboxing and a review all in one. Uh, because I wanted you guys to see my first moments uh, witnessing this, this awesome uh, collector's item right here. So I'm very excited about it. So here is the box. Pretty big box, actually. So let's get this thing open and uh, we'll take a look. So I will, of course, do my detailed review um, after this, but I just wanted to at least first show you my initial reaction. Um, and I am very excited for it. So let's just cutting the, uh, the sides here. Whew, all right. Open this up. Got my little receipt stuff here. Um, and, uh, let me try and get this out of the way so you can sort of see a little bit better. All right, plenty of packing. And there it is in the midst of it all, the Legacy Dragon Dagger. Let's move this giant box out of the way. Ugh, there we go. All right, let's fix this. The sheet here kind of got all messed up. Um, wow, all right, let's adjust this. So this is it. This is the Legacy Dragon Dagger. And this thing, wow, it looks fantastic just in the packaging. Um, whew, okay, this is awesome. Um, so I will show you guys, um, let me show you the, the packaging kind of up close because I think this is really something to appreciate. All right, so here it is, the packaging up close, and it just looks awesome. I love how these legacy items, they made them very, the packaging very reminiscent of the old school Mighty Morphin packaging with the green and the lightning bolts and everything. This just looks awesome on display. I've saved all the boxes for the legacy items that I have because these boxes just look awesome, and this is no exception. You have your Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, ages 15 plus, because this is a collector's item. This is not a toy. Uh, this is, well, it's kind of a toy, but it's for collectors, I guess, for adult fans um, and kids, I guess, but 15 plus. Diecast metal right there. Legacy Dragon Dagger. There it is. It looks pretty big right there. Um, and you'll see it's this classic theme song, so it does play the theme song. Um, it does say 24 karat gold plated. Probably not real gold, uh, of course, but uh, very shiny nonetheless. Requires two AAA batteries, batteries included. Um, and yeah, great packaging. You have the Green Ranger, obviously, with the Dragon Dagger right there and the Dragon Zord, because he used the Dragon Dagger to call the Dragon Zord. Just fantastic packaging. This is just awesome right here. Uh, caution, do not place mouth anywhere on toy, so you don't actually stick that in the mouth, I guess, um, the actual uh, piece there. Um, great artwork on here, the Dragon Dagger. You have the six Mighty Morphin Rangers right there. Very cool. Um, yeah, this is great. Let's look at the, the side. Legacy Dragon Dagger with the Green Ranger. Um, same thing on the other side. And the back is also great as well. Your Mighty Morphin logo, the Green Ranger. And it kind of shows you um, press and hold to activate deluxe sound. So you can you can hold this. I guess you can put it against your chin or something and it will uh, play some extra sounds. There's different sounds as well. So there's the Zord's Combine tune, the classic theme song, and the Dragon Zord tune. So I will show you all of that fun stuff, um, and it's got the story right here. Uh, so I'm not gonna read all of that. If you wanna read it, you can pause the video and read all of that, but it kinda shows, you know, explains the Green Ranger and, and how he got his powers and, and what the Dragon Dagger does and all that fun stuff. Uh, and it's in three different languages. So um, yeah, just fantastic packaging for this thing. Just This thing just looks amazing. Um, and it, you know, really stands out. So I'm sure on the shelf, it's kinda, um, really gonna stand out because it just looks it looks epic. So let's open this thing up. Let's do a little unboxing All right, here I am. It's time to do the unboxing. So uh, let's see. Let's open it. I guess from from this side here Got my scissors All right. I'm very excited for this this is going to be epic. Oops, something fell out. The instructions, it looks like. So we'll take a look at that. So there's your box, which I'm definitely going to be saving because this is just epic right here. 
Um, and then, so there's a couple things in here. So first off, we have the instructions. In case anybody wants to see, just one side, but uh, there it is right there. Just kind of explains what, um, how you can insert in the batteries as well as how to play. I don't know if the battery's already inserted into this thing. I don't see the battery separately, so maybe. But um, let's take this thing out. It's got a little plastic cover on top and then um, this little wrap underneath it, and that's it. That's all that's in there, and this thing, oh man, this thing is so shiny, and it just feels great already. Wow, this is awesome. Look at this. Look at this, man. This is just epic right here. Um, wow. Very nice. I am very, very impressed with this. Um, it just has a nice weight to it. And, oh, so shiny. I mean, look at this. The die cast metal. I mean, just the, the buttons and everything feels great. Um, wow. So, you know, you have that whole thing. Yeah, this is just... This is epic right here. I, I am loving this thing. This is awesome. This is really cool. Um, there's an on-off switch and everything. So yeah, I'll show you guys, once I kind of play around with this a bit, I'll show you in the review exactly what it does. But first impressions are, this thing is awesome. So um, yeah, let me show you guys. Uh, oh, apparently I just turned it on. Um, so let me kind of play around with this and then I will uh, do my review. Here it is, folks. This is the Legacy Dragon Dagger. So I've played around with this uh, a bit, and uh, it's pretty amazing. Um, wow, yeah. Uh, so first of all, let me just show you just the detail uh, up close. So we'll start at the top. Um, the blade is kind of uh, plastic. This is not die-cast metal, of course. Uh, but it still looks very nice. It's very shiny. Uh, it's not really, like, flimsy. Like, you can't really, like, bend it much. Um, so it's just, it's very nice. It actually looks really cool. It looks very shiny. So I actually, um, really like that too. Um, and then you have kind of the gold right here, which is of course very shiny. Um, the green is a nice, um, also kind of a metallic green, but it's got a really cool, like, sort of design on it, I guess that you can see. Um, so a nice sort of texture on that green part. And, uh, very cool. Very, you know, you have all the little buttons there. Uh, I, I used to play flute in middle school and then French horn as well. I kind of played a bunch of instruments. I played flute because I thought flute would be the easiest, which is not really the case. But um, So very reminiscent of that. Obviously this is meant to be like a flute, but um, you know, up close you really kind of appreciate some of those details. So uh, very cool. Um, some little design on there. Uh, the Dragon Dagger coin looks great. Very shiny. Um, and it also has kind of a similar texture in the background as like in the green part. Although the, the main part is, is, is smooth there. Um, but looks great. And yeah. So, wow, really cool stuff. Um, some nice design on there. Um, really cool. There's, there's kind of the side right there. So this is actually, I think, where the batteries go. Um, you didn't actually have to open this for the batteries. Uh, the batteries were already inside of it. But if you ever have to switch them out... Uh, was it two AAA batteries? Yeah, two AAA batteries, and so it's there. Um, the other side also has um, some nice detail. You have the coin on the back as well, which this is actually the speaker. So that's why you kind of have the holes around it and stuff. Um, but it, it still looks nice. Like It kind of blends in, so you don't really notice it too much. Um, but that's where the speaker is. And then you have, again, great design there. Um, there's kind of a, a side view like this. And there's your on-off switch right there, so I'll show you guys that in a second. And then from the other side as well with the buttons. Um, so, the, the, the buttons that you can use, you have your, your three buttons on here. Um, and so they don't go down all the way, just a little bit. But they click. And then this part as well goes down. So this would be kind of the, the mouthpiece right there. So, as you can see, very nice. Um, so yeah, this thing is just absolutely impressive to look at and, and very impressive to hold to. It has a very nice weight to it. Uh, the blade is pretty like the heavy, like this upper part, because of so much of the metal right here. Um, so it really, like if you try and pretend to swing it around, this has some really nice weight to it. So it's, uh, yeah, very cool. I, I can't stop saying <laughs> very nice because I, I really do like this. Uh, so let me show you guys what it does now. And so here's the on-off switch. So I'll turn it on. And what you do is you just kind of slide it up. 
So there's the on switch. No off sound, but. So now it's on. And when it's on, uh, what you can do, so you have your, your different buttons here, right? Um, I'll kind of show actually like this, since this is sort of the, the main view. So the button closest to kind of the coin, when you push it, it plays that sound. So if you keep pushing it, like if you interrupt it, it'll play it again every time you do it. Holding it down doesn't do anything different, but that's the only sound that button plays. Then this one. And this one. So you can go. So that's kind of interesting. I like that, that it's not random and you can actually decide which sounds to play based on which button you push, so. So that's that's definitely nice to, to have there, that, that control over the, the sounds. Um, then what you can also do is you can hold this part down and when this is held down, this kind of clicks a little bit. You can kind of hear it. And while this is being held down, you can push these buttons for different sounds. So the idea is you can kind of hold it up to your mouth or, or really sort of your chin and do that. I found that a little bit difficult to do. Um, and I probably am not going to be sticking this around my mouth usually. I'll show you guys how that is though um, after this in a little bit. But uh, basically I'm just going to hold it down for now. And then when you do that, if you push this, It plays that sound, and it actually sounds really nice in person. It, it sounds very good quality um, uh, audio right there. Um, and so it plays that sound right there, which I think is like the Zords combined theme is, is what it said on the, on the box and stuff. I think that's what it was on the show. And, and once you do this, you don't have to keep holding down the buttons. You just hold it, push, and then you can let go. So now I can let go. Um, and while the sound plays, you can push any of the buttons. That will not stop the sound, but pushing this again will stop the sound. So if I do this, and then push this, it interrupts it. So you're able to, to push the buttons freely once the sound starts, but this thing kind of cancels the sound. Uh, so you just hold it down and push it for the sound. I'm going to skip this one and come to it later, but this is the other one. So that is kind of your familiar uh, sound for, for summoning um, kind of the, the dragon sword, so that's kind of the main sound there. So you just hold it down. Oops, and I just canceled it. But you can kind of, if you keep holding this down, and then you keep pushing the button, you can play it again and again, so. So that gives you the idea there. Then the middle button plays the theme song. Um, it would have been nice for this to play something a little bit different like, you know, go Green Ranger, go, you know, that that fun little uh, theme song that the Green Ranger had. But unfortunately, they just decided to play the Mighty Morphin theme song, which I don't mind. You know, I, I think obviously Mighty Morphin product, Mighty Morphin theme song fits, but it would have been nice to have something a little bit different or in addition to the theme song. But anyway, so let's hold this down and I'll play the theme song and I'll let it go all the way through. So yeah, it really does play the entire theme song, which is pretty awesome actually. I kind of like that. Um, so that's pretty cool. I hope I don't get flagged for playing this song in the video, but um, that's really cool. So, you know, again, you can have this down. So it does all the same stuff. You can push the button, the, this thing to kind of cancel it right there, but um, really cool. And it sounds really nice quality. You know, here's the speaker. So you'll kind of see, or even any of the other sounds.
very nice uh, quality on this. Um, so just all around, uh, it looks great, it feels great, it sounds great. Just everything about this is absolutely awesome. I think this is a, a must-have for collectors. Um, this is probably my favorite legacy toy out of, out of the Morphers, the Megazords, everything. This thing is probably my favorite. Um, it just looks absolutely um, amazing. Um, in case you're wondering, I was hoping it would kind of stand like this maybe, and it doesn't really. It kind of wobbles over a little bit backwards, but um, so you can kind of sit it down like that. But, uh, you know, it's kind of curved, so it's not really going to stand like that. But uh, still, really cool stuff. I really like it. It just feels great, looks great, is awesome. Uh, so now I just want to kind of show you, I'll show you this kind of being used with my mouth or chin or whatever, and I'll show you some comparisons with some other Power Rangers roleplay items as well. All right, so here I am. Here's the Legacy Dragon Dagger. The one main thing that I really wanted to compare, especially, um, oops, let me turn this off for a second, is the 2010 Dragon Dagger. This is the only other Dragon Dagger that I had. I never had one as a kid, uh, and I really wanted one, but when they had the Mighty Morphin 2010 toy line, they had a really tiny one, which I never was able to get, but also this deluxe one, which kind of looked a little odd, but, you know, it was kind of interesting. So this one, the main draw was it was a lightsaber as well. So in terms of size, first show you size comparison. Um, the Legacy Dragon Dagger is of course bigger, um, so there's that difference. In terms of detail and stuff, I mean you can you can see right there um, the, the detail. The, this one looks like a toy and this one looks like an actual prop. So there's obviously a significant difference there. In terms of the sounds, I'll turn this thing on. It had a couple of random sounds. <laughs> Like different things like that, but the the main sound um, I'll kind of play here. And you actually had to blow into it for sound, so. That's in comparison to. Oops. Clearly um, a big difference there in terms of sound. So this one is accurate. The Mighty Morphin 2010 one was not. Uh, it was a fun little toy. I'll give it that. Definitely fun little toy. But it does not compare to the actual one. Um, oh, let me show you a size comparison with the, the lightsaber part um, actually extended out. So I'll kind of do it like this sort of because you have the blade there. Oops, so just turn it on again. Um, so with the lightsaber... It is, the 2010 one is longer. Uh, it's probably, it goes about to half the length of the lightsaber blade. Um, so you do kind of, you know, see that difference there. So, yeah, I mean, there's there's kind of your comparison. It's really, this is definitely a toy, and it's kind of fun. You have a couple of random little neat things you can do with it, but it doesn't compare to the actual Legacy Dragon Dagger right here. Um, other little comparisons. I have the, um, from Megaforce, the little blaster. Uh, very tiny compared to the, uh, little blade here, so there's that one. Um, I have the Samurai Spin Sword, which is almost as long, uh, not quite, but almost as long as the um, Legacy Dragon Dagger. I have the Bullzooka, so here it is in blaster mode, um, not quite as long. In, in, if I were to extend this a little bit, if I do the button, it's still not you know, as, as long there. Um, but, uh, you know, there's that difference. Um, I do also have a couple other things here. The Super Mega Saber, the, the regular basic one. Um, so there's kind of your, your size comparison there. And the Deluxe Super Mega Saber. Now this one is much more comparable there. Um, although still not quite as long. Although the blade kind of curves, you know, but, uh, so still, this is actually a pretty decent size, though. This is pretty cool. But the Dragon Dagger also is great right here. So this is this is a nice little combo. I like this. Um, but of course, the, the true test with roleplay items is the Mega Blade from Samurai, because this thing was just awesome. Um, so let's kind of open this up and test the, the length here. Obviously, the Mega Blade is going to win this one. So if you're, if you're going for, for size here, uh, Mega Blade definitely longer um but uh yeah really cool the mega blade was just epic I, I really liked that one um it actually felt pretty solid but 
This one feels a lot heavier because of all the die cast metal and it obviously feels more like a prop, like something actually from the show. And it looks like it too, it looks really awesome. Um, and just for fun, here's the just the, the, um, the Green Rangers Morpher, the Legacy Power Morpher Green White Ranger Edition. So there it is. Um, so now I can morph into the Green Ranger. Um, and the little key, or not key, the coin you can see is kind of different. Um, the This one on the Morpher, oops, is a bit more weathered. Uh, so there is kind of that difference there in terms of the coin. But both look awesome. I'm, I'm very happy to have these legacy items. Um, I think it's a fantastic idea for a toy line. Uh, I keep accidentally, if, if you have this off, if your finger kind of hits this knob, kind of turns on pretty easily. So I keep accidentally turning it on. So just keep an eye on if you kind of have it and you're messing around with it, you can pretty easily turn it on um, on accident or something, but not that that really matters. But then the other thing with these sounds, so actually now let's turn it on. So the idea behind it is you can sort of push this down. You're not really supposed to put it in your mouth and that's kind of weird. So you can kind of push it against your chin and then push it. So you have your normal sounds and then And you know, that's okay. You kind of do have to push into your chin a little bit, you know. Um, you don't have to keep it there because once the sound starts playing, you can let go, you know, so that's fine. But I don't know, I mean, I'm not really gonna be doing that unless just to show somebody for fun. Um, and I, with, with the show, they have their helmets and they're kind of sticking it up to their, their mouth and kind of using the chin like that. Like I suppose it's supposed to be like this, maybe? Um, like, or how was, no, he'd hold it like this. That's what it was. You know, so you can kind of pretend, you can kind of do this and go... Just pretend, I don't know. But uh, I guess it's kind of neat that, you know, you're able to kind of pretend to do that if you wanted to. Um, maybe especially if you cosplay and you actually have a helmet, then that would be cool because you could actually push it against the helmet. But as is, I'm not going to be sticking this thing, you know, like in my mouth or whatever. And on my chin, it's a little awkward, but, you know, at least I can kind of just hold it down and play the sounds if I wanted to. Um, but yeah, overall, this thing is just fantastic. Absolutely amazing. I think if you are a Power Rangers fan, if you are a collector, um, definitely try and get this because I think just in every aspect, this thing is, is awesome. I know a lot of people are getting sick of Mighty Morphin and everything, but really this is the type of quality product that they're releasing. This is the type of thing that you should support. Uh, because if you buy these things, they, eventually they're going to run out of Mighty Morphin stuff. So they're going to maybe release other seasons worth of stuff. And I know they mentioned that one at Toy Fair or something that they might be doing that. So um, definitely support it. I know it's like, I think, $80 at Toys R Us or maybe a little less. Um, so it is expensive, but you are getting a quality item. This feels like it's really like a prop from the show. It looks fantastic. It feels fantastic. It sounds fantastic. Um, it is just all around an absolutely awesome toy. And this is... Probably one of my favorite Power Ranger items that I have, especially out of the Legacy Collection. This is my favorite. So this is really sweet. I really like the Legacy Dragon Dagger. So if you guys have any questions, please post them in the comments below and I will try and answer them for you. Uh, please share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Lots more reviews on the way. Uh, more Legacy items, more Super Mega Force, whatever. Whenever Titanus releases, I'll get that. Dragon Zord, of course. Um, all the, the great stuff I'm, I'm, I'm going to be trying to get. So definitely check this out if you are a Power Rangers fan and a collector. It's pretty awesome. So that is the Legacy Dragon Dagger. Uh, thanks for watching and see you guys later.